What's up? Brandon Lilly here. Going to be talking today about the 365 strong mentality and how to introduce that kind of mentality into your training. What that is, is the idea when I originally wrote about it was to be strong as possible every single day of the week. Not just, you know, when you peak for the platform, but at all times. And that comes from the idea of training like a strong man, eating like a bodybuilder, mobilizing like a weightlifter, and thinking like a powerlifter. So the reason I say train like a strong man is because they're adapt at everything. Okay, powerlifters only have to be good at three things. And that's that's highly specialized whenever the meet is coming up. You should train this way as you're trying to peak for a powerlifting meet. But in your off season, you should be doing a lot of things to strengthen your whole body, to strengthen yourself out of position for powerlifting. The other thing about strong man is they're always moving with implements. Um, you never see these guys, you know, they'll have a static, you know, a static position where they're doing overheads or, um, you know, deadlift or something like that, but they're doing farmer's walks. They're doing the heavy yoke. They're doing a Conan's wheel. They're doing stones where they have to walk them. Um, all these things challenge the body in new ways. I'll tell you one thing's for sure. These guys are walking with weights that powerlifters are just squatting. And the other thing that I'll tell you about strongman powerlifters, I mentioned this in a video before, the want versus need video, is that powerlifters want numbers. You know, we want to deadlift 800, we want to deadlift 900. Well, in the world of strongman, at the top level, you don't get to pick what numbers you want. You have to pick the numbers that are de delegated by the meat director. And at the heaviest levels, if you're not pulling eight, 900 pounds, you don't get to play. So think about that whenever you're implementing your training, get mobile with weight. There's absolutely nothing wrong if you don't have farmers, grab some dumbbells and walk with them. I love those. Lunges are awesome for power lifters. Uh, heavy barbell walks, heavy barbell lunges, those things can replicate some of the strongman movements and I guarantee you, they're not only gonna make your core stronger, they're gonna give you a heightened a feeling of strength all over. When I was at my absolute strongest body, and I'm not talking about biggest powerlifting numbers, but when I felt the strongest and I was absolutely capable of just attacking anything in the gym is when I was training strongman specifically. And through this injury that I've had, some of the movements that I've been doing as far as my rehab have gotten me back to the strongman type stuff. And I really, really feel the benefit of it. So I'm not saying this is the best for your powerlifting peak. You know, take your eight, 10, 12 weeks, whatever it is and peak for your powerlifting meet. But in your down weeks and the weeks in between your meets, really think about you know, training like a strong man, getting some of that um, mobile weight training. Next, eat like a bodybuilder. I don't know any guy that ever got into the sport of powerlifting and said, hey, I wanna be a big, fat, blobby piece of shit. Um, everybody wanted to get into the sport either to get stronger, to look better, or to feel better. And the way to do that is not going into the gym and doing a bunch of cardio. Go to the gym, train as hard as you possibly can but then do your work in the kitchen as well. How hard is it to take two days a week, <clears throat> cook some beef, cook some chicken, you know, steam some broccoli and cook some rice, sweet potatoes, whatever it is, put them in the containers and eat well. I promise you on the front end, yeah, it's gonna be more expensive. It's gonna hit you for 100, 150, $200 a week on the front end. But if you average out how much you're spending eating out every day, three to four times a day, and then you look at your body the result of those two things, you know, it doesn't make any sense. Your body is going to perform better when you're putting natural good foods in it. So think about that. Look the part as well as playing the part. Look like you're strong as you actually are. Mobilize like a weightlifter. So many power lifters are taught, uh, you don't have to stretch, you don't have to stretch, you want to be tight, this, that, and the other. I agree with that to a certain point. We want to be tight, we want to be powerful, we want to be strong. But a fast muscle is a loose muscle. And one of the things that Louis Simmons has always taught powerlifters in the States, and it holds true, is you have to be a little bit loose to be strong, okay? You do wanna have those tight, big muscles, but to engage them, to fire them quickly, they need to be loose. So you need to have some mobilization in your training to maximize the muscle recruitment. Don't just walk around you know, stiff as a board because you're prone to injury, work your shoulders, bend your legs, you know, stretch your quads, do things, take five to 10 minutes. I mean, it's all it really is. Once you 
dedicate to the stretching and once you get your body in a position to where you're actually somewhat mobile 5 10 15 minutes tops before a workout after a workout and you're done i mean that's one thing that happened to me before i was injured um, i was doing a lot of mobility work prior to that training cycle and then i got busy i was traveling a lot i was uh, training on a short time frame and i stopped my stretching i stopped doing the mobility work that i had been doing and it really backfired and it i felt tight every time that i lifted um, and I knew it in the back of my head and I say it has something to do with the fact that I got hurt I can't say for sure, but I do believe that it did the last thing think like a power lifter power lifters have the luxury of doing one all-out repetition So whenever you're training it's do or die It's all or nothing and that's the way that you need to focus and that's the way you need to to really live your life I mean, that's one thing that I've really <clears throat> trying to impress upon people is they need to take every every single day as an opportunity to do something great you're going to go to your job be the best that you can be at your job you never know who's watching you never know what's going to happen but start developing habits for successful living and i'm talking about in the in the gym outside the gym everywhere do everything that you can do to the absolute best that you can do it and the power lifter mentality like I said, it's all or nothing. It's one repetition, pass or fail. So you have to prime your mind to think that way all the time. So that's the way I do. That's what I was saying. I go about my day that way. You know, if I'm going to do an activity <clears throat> where I'm going to, you know, say make a video or write an article, I'm going to do the absolute best that I can do. You know, why would I waste my time doing something half-assed when I'm going to be doing it anyway? Might as well do it all out. So Think about that, implement that into your life, inside the gym, outside the gym, and I think you're going to find that you're going to be a lot better lifter. 365 strong, every single day, every single way. Thank you guys for tuning in. Catch me next time.